In this video, we will get the basic understanding of a super heterodyne receiver. Analog TV transmission uses amplitude modulation as a transmission scheme. This AM broadcast occurs in the frequency range of 510 kilohertz to 1655 kilohertz. That means any TV station will transmit its signal on one of the frequency within this band. As an example, let us say station number one is transmitting its signal on 600 kilohertz frequency. Another station, station number two, may transmit its signal on 900 kilohertz frequency. Station number three may transmit its signal on 1200 kilohertz and the last station transmits its signal on 1600 kilohertz. So we can say that each station is transmitting on one of the frequency within this entire band of frequency. Now if we think about the receiver, then this receiver has to demodulate the signal available from all of the station. That is, this receiver must be able to demodulate the signal at 600 kilohertz frequency. This must be able to demodulate the signal at 900 kilohertz. Similarly, for 1200 and 1600. In short, this receiver must be able to demodulate the signal over the entire band of frequency. Now, this entire band is nothing but from 0.5 megahertz to 1.6 megahertz, which is nothing but this is a band of 1.1 megahertz. So, this receiver must have to perform AM demodulation over the entire band of 1.1 megahertz. Similarly, in case of FM radio system, which uses frequency modulation as a transmission scheme, this FM broadcast occurs in the frequency range of 88 MHz to 108 MHz. That means any radio station will transmit its signal on one of the frequency within this band. So, as an example, let us say station number 1 transmits its signal on 90 MHz. Another station transmits its signal on 94 MHz. Another station transmits on 98 and the last station transmits at 104 megahertz. So here the different stations are transmitting their signal on different frequency and this one of the different frequency is nothing but falling within this band. But if we think about the receiver then this receiver has to demodulate all of this signal means this receiver must be able to demodulate the signal at 90 megahertz, 94 megahertz, 98 megahertz and 104 megahertz. So this receiver has to demodulate the information over the entire range of the frequency and this range is nothing but this is 20 megahertz band. That means this receiver must be able to perform FM demodulation over this entire band of 20 megahertz. So here we can say that this AM receiver has to perform demodulation over the band of 1.1 megahertz and this FM receiver has to perform demodulation over the band of 20 megahertz. So here we can see that these receivers are nothing but consisting of collection of circuits which perform some task. So here we say that this receivers has to perform over the wide range of 1.1 megahertz and 20 megahertz that means this circuit all circuit must be able to work on this wide range of frequency so which is quite complex thing to make the circuit works for a wider range of frequency and your circuit may become little complex so how can we avoid this complexity and to solve this problem, one idea is there that shift the incoming frequencies to the lower frequency and then you demodulate it or process it. So idea here is whatever the incoming frequencies 
over here first of all you just shift this frequency to the lower frequency so here we can see that in case of tv signal or in case of radio signal this high frequency signal this entire band must be shifted to the lower frequency so here we can see that the in case of am transmission this entire band of frequency starting with 0.5 megahertz to 1.6 megahertz they are shifted to a new frequency a low frequency which is 0.455 megahertz similarly in case of fm the incoming frequency starting with 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz they are shifted to the low frequency which is nothing but 10.7 megahertz once they are shifted to low frequency then demodulation and further processes has to occur now since we are lowering the frequency means we are performing down conversion yes and after performing down conversion we will get the lower frequency compared to the input frequency so here you can see that compared to input frequency shifted frequency is the lower one and here also compared to input frequency shifted frequency is the lower one and this lower frequency is called intermediate frequency so after performing frequency shifting the lower frequency called intermediate frequency and rest of the processing is carried out on the intermediate frequency so after performing this frequency shifting the rest of the function will be carried out on this lower frequency only so rest of the circuit has to work properly on that intermediate frequency only no need to work them over the entire wide range of frequency so we can say that the complexity of our circuit also get reduces now here since we are performing the down conversion we are lowering the frequency and we already learned that if you want to perform the down conversion then one device is there which will help you which is nothing but called frequency mixture yes frequency mixture shift the frequency maybe up conversion maybe down conversion but here we will use the frequency mixture to perform the down conversion so this frequency mixture will be placed over here before demodulation and further processing so let us put a frequency mixture over here so here you can see that over here if you put a frequency mixture so that circuit mixer circuit is shown in this red box so what happens if we recall the frequency mixture then frequency mixture is having two inputs and one output yes two inputs and one output now at the output of mixture you will get some frequency and difference frequency if it is ideal mixture if it is practical mixture then yes you will get many more frequencies but by putting a proper filter you can get the desired frequency so here mixture takes two input and produce output so let us say that one of the input signal is rf signal another input is local oscillator which is generated locally at the receiver so uh, you will get some and different frequency but in this case we will select the difference frequency f1 minus f2 so here you can see that f1 is lo f2 is rf so f1 minus f2 we are selecting so we are selecting lo that is local oscillator minus rf frequency and as a result this difference frequency is called if frequency and since this is difference so answer will be small so if frequency is nothing but a lower frequency compared to the incoming input frequencies so here you can see that one of the input is nothing but the rf signal from the antenna that is one input of the mixture now another input is nothing but local oscillator that is locally generated at the receiver so as a result at the output of mixture some and difference frequencies will be present if it is practical mixture if it is ideal if it is practical mixture then many more frequencies will be there but by putting a suitable filter we can get the difference frequency only so after amplification whatever we get is nothing but the difference frequency that is lo minus rf and we call it as a intermediate frequency yes so here we can say that after by using mixture 
we are shifting RF frequency into the IF frequency and then the demodulation and rest of the processing is occurred. So here this all functions are carried out on the intermediate frequency or IF frequencies. So here you can see that compared to normal receiver where this circuits has to give performance over the entire band of frequency but in case of this scheme by introduction of this mixture we can say that this circuit must be able to perform very well over this IF frequency only and this scheme the introduction of mixture and shifting the incoming frequency to the intermediate frequency then process it this scheme is called super heterodyne receiver yes this is super heterodyne receiver so let us understand what is the meaning of super heterodyne so here you can see that heterodyne is nothing but a combination of a two greek word which is hetero and dyne so here hetero means different and dyne means power so here the different powers are used here power is nothing but in sense of frequency so different frequencies are used so you can say that heterodyne is nothing but the two different frequencies are used or mixed and new frequencies are generated so heterodyne means two different frequencies are mixed and as a result new frequencies are generated so here you can see that mixer takes two different frequencies f1 and f2 and new frequencies are generated they are f1 minus f2 and f1 plus f2 so these new frequencies are called heterodyons yes and we are using only f1 minus f2 difference frequency that is lo minus rf now here super means this all frequencies are supersonic frequency means above human hearing greater than 20 kilohertz so that's why the name comes the super heterodyne receiver means a receiver which works on supersonic frequency and use the concept of heterodyne so that is called heterodyne receiver so in heterodyne receiver you have to at least know that your incoming signal is not processed as it is it is first shifted to the lower frequency and then processed so let us move ahead now here in case of TV system let us assume that one TV station is transmitting a signal on 1000 kilohertz and we want to demodulate it. So if it is super heterodyne receiver then we have to transfer yes we have to transfer this incoming RF frequency to the IF frequency and then process it. So this RF frequency must be shifted to the IF frequency so IF frequency of AM is 455 kilohertz this is standard value so IF frequency of AM receiver is 455 kilohertz that means if you want to demodulate this signal at the 1000 kilohertz then you have to shift it to the 455 kilohertz by performing super heterodyne so here we can see that how we will get this IF so you can see that we get the RF signal we have to get the IF so yes we have to perform this operation LO minus RF so we know the RF we know the IF so we have to set the local oscillator frequency yes we have to set the local oscillator frequency so how can we get what value we have to take for local oscillator so this local oscillator must be set so we know that the equation that IF is nothing but the local oscillator minus RF so here you can see that the IF frequency is local oscillator frequency minus RF frequency so if we rearrange this because we know the RF incoming signal frequency we know what should be the IF we know that so let us find LO so can I say that if you both side add plus RF so LO will be RF plus IF now RF is nothing but it is given that 1000 kilohertz so RF RF is 1000 kilohertz FIF is 455 kilohertz so LO is nothing but 1000 plus 455 which is 1455 kilohertz that means if you want to shift 
the signal at 1000 kilohertz to the 455 kilohertz then this local oscillator must be set to the frequency 1455 kilohertz so that 1455 minus 1000 will result into 455 kilohertz now similarly if somebody says I want to demodulate the signal at 500 kilohertz then the local oscillator must be 500 plus 455 which is 955 kilohertz so depending on which RF signal you want to demodulate you have to add the IF frequency so that you will come to know that what should be my local oscillator frequency according to this relation so let us take another example so in case of FM let us say one station is transmitting its signal on 98.3 megahertz and we want to demodulate it so super heterodan will shift this incoming RF to the IF frequency of the FM so IF frequency of the FM is nothing but the, this standard one 10.7 megahertz and we know the incoming frequency so let us once again use the relation that IF is LO minus RF we know the RF we know the IF so let us find out the LO so here F IF is F LO minus RF so F LO will be RF plus IF IF we know 98.3 megahertz then RF is 98.3 megahertz IF is 10.7 megahertz which is standard one so summation is 109 megahertz so that is you have to set your oscillator 109 megahertz so that the difference of 109 minus 98.3 will be 10.7 megahertz so in that sense you can see that you have shifted your incoming RF signal to the IF frequency and then FM demodulation and all further processing will occur so you have to set your oscillator to 109 megahertz for this particular case so in summary here we get the basic concept of super heterodyne receiver so compared to simple receiver in super heterodyne we are performing down conversion via mixture so normal receiver receives the frequency and operate on the same frequency so now compared to that super heterodyne receives the incoming frequency shifts it to the lower frequency and then it perform various operations now here we get the relation that FIF is nothing but the LO minus RF where LO is nothing but the local oscillator frequency generated locally on the receiver and RF is nothing but the incoming frequency and here we also know that these are the standard IF frequencies so for AM standard IF is nothing but 455 kilohertz and for FM standard IF is 10.7 megahertz so we conclude that using super heterodyne receiver we do not have to make these circuits to operate on a wider band we have to design the circuit which operates very well over the IF frequency only hope you get the basic idea and the difference between simple receiver and super heterodyne receiver now here it is not like that all incoming frequencies are amplified actually filter is there RF filter is there which will pass the only one station which we want to demodulate it so here instead of normal RF amplifier before this one tune RF filter is also there which will pass only one station at a time and this will be tuned with the local oscillator so if you want to demodulate some different channel then you have to set your local oscillator and according to local oscillator this filter will also get tuned so this is the concept of super heterodyne receiver thank you